one word suggestion. Pickles. I I'm heard pickles. pickles. I love pickles. They're so crunchy. I love when, when they're a little bit sweet and you can just crunch in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love to put them on a sandwich. Cuban sandwiches. I grew up in Key West, so I grew up on Cuban sandwiches. And you gotta have the pickles. Lay them all on there. I go up to the, the nice Cuban lady and go, yes, I would like a Cuban. They go all the way. That's how they do it. So I get my Cuban sandwich, take it back, drink it, eat it, I drink a, a nice hot coffee con leche. Mm, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's mainly just sugar. Like, is there any coffee in this? I think it's just sugar and milk. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, forget the coffee. Just give me sugar, milk, and pickles. And that's what I think about pickles. pickles. Pickles are one of the very first foods I can remember eating when I was young. When I was young, we would go to the uh, grocery store and I would get one of these giant pickles that was like this big. And I don't think I ever remember actually finishing it. But I do remember that years later, what I would do is I'd buy two of those giant pickles and I'd put like cayenne pepper sauce on it and everything. And then I, for some reason, I liked spicy things. I still do. I would try to eat it and I never could and I'd end up wasting two big pickles. But to this day, I still love pickles! Uh, so the word pickles makes me think of not food, but a serious city issue that we are facing today. Um, the Pickles Plus is a deli in, or uh, yeah, a deli restaurant in, in uh, downtown Clearwater, and they're in the Harborview Center. And the city so badly wants to tear down the Harbor Harborview Center, and so many people just want to just tear it down. Tear it down. But pickles Plus is there. They're in the Harborview Center, and they cannot tear that building down because they still have a contract. But the food is really good. Right. And there's like this amazing view of the, the newly renovated downtown Clearwater boat slips. Um, I am not the PR for downtown Clearwater. <laughs> um, although I feel like I sound like it right now. But um, there, uh, so yeah, it's like an amazing view of the water amazing. and the causeway and Florida lifestyle, but but the Harborview Center is there, and it is ugly, and it needs to get out of the way. But Pickles Plus is there, and that's what I think about Pickles. pickles! Uh, Mr. Jones. Yeah. Unfortunately, your candy stand mm -hmm. is in the way of the future highway. Now, you think that your candy stand right here yeah, yeah. is just an innocent candy stand. Well, it is. I mean, I, I've been here for 30 years. Yes, Kids yes. come to me and they... Kids. Yeah. Kids come to you. Right. They do rely on your chocolates. Right. But imagine this street without your candy stand. Can I just get a salt water taffy, please? Excuse me, young man. I, you've been You're here for... You're extremely important city business. I know you've been here for 15 minutes. I just want a salt water taffy and I'll go. You're kind of interrupting my business here, right here. You have to say, yes. Nicole. Yes, okay. Thank you. Excuse me. No. Take your money back. No. <laughs> leave. Leave right now. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna call the cops on you if you don't leave. leave. Yes, yes. Now, what I need you to do is take all of your candy, mm -hmm. put it, like, you know. You better get your hands off my candy, or... Just gonna... <laughs> um, so I, I asked your senior I wanted to talk to you about your behavior. While we really appreciate what you're doing for the city, uh, you're a little bit too aggressive going into businesses and... Wait a second. You hired me to do a job. Yeah. Do you want me to clean up the city streets? Well, we want you to be nice to them. The you know, they have feelings. They have feelings? Feelings? feelings. 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 This is a city. How can we run a city with our feelings? Well, well, number one, it's against the law what you're doing. And number two... Don't talk to me about the law. So we're going to have to do some sensitivity training. Okay. Um, you know, uh, for instance, the other day when you went into the daycare, you, um, that we want to make it to an overpass. Right. Uh, you took all of the bottles out of the kids' mouths. Yes. Right. And they were very loud. I'm going to tell them that Santa's not real. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do an exercise. Cut to, cut to scene, children. Keep that. Yeah, we're gonna 
gonna take care of this place. This, this building's an eyesore. No, no, come here. Okay, you're scary, and these kids are gonna be smart for the rest of their lives. Why does the scary lady have a giant mole on her face? Hey, don't talk about my mole. Unbelievable, these children are rude and in the way of progress. I'm rude. You're the one that took my minky. Hey, thanks for the beer, Tom. Uh, got any cayenne? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Love to spice it up, don't you, Jack? You know it. You know it. Ne right. Never satisfied with the regular, are you? Oh, who would be? You gotta just, you know, enjoy life. The way it comes isn't, that's for everybody, you know? I think, I think if you just follow the path that's been led, you'll be fine. You? Always different. Always different. Of course. Of course I'm different. You don't get anywhere in life going where everybody else has gone, except where everybody else goes. You're a poet too, huh? And a motivational speaker? Hey, I try. Well, you know what? I'm just mad I might be a regular. By itself. Ah, there you go. That's your difference. Here's the difference. What? You're an asshole. I got, I've said it, all right? I don't like you anymore, honestly. Everything changes, never good enough, never good enough. I invite you over to my house first thing. Can I have some cayenne pepper in this? Bullshit, that's my beer. You drink it the way I give it to you. <laughs> Look, I don't know where all this hostility is coming from. We were frat brothers together in college. Like, this is... Oh, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you wanted to pat all the Russia's bottoms just because that's what everybody always did. That's what they did to us? Yeah. That's what they did to us. And how did you feel when they did it? Oh, I hated it. Exactly. Oh, but you, you've got to say no, no paddling on the bottoms, right? That's, well, we paddled them with flowers, okay? What's wrong with that? Little rose-petaled bottoms running through our frat house. They call us the gay frat for two more semesters. <laughs> that was total bullshit. <coughs> flowers instead of paddles. You should be ashamed of yourself. I should be ashamed of myself for thinking of human rights and decency? I should be ashamed of myself for doing things differently than tradition. Huh. Oh, and your wife. She's a catch. Got her out of a magazine. What's wrong with my wife? Oh, come on. Couldn't just meet people the regular way. You gotta order them. Yeah? Hi, Tweaky. I like this country very much. I'm, I know you do. I brought you some tea. Thank you. Thank you, honey. You're such a good husband. Uh... Thank you for saving me. Welcome. Thank you for saving me from Vietnam! Um, honey, what, one thing? Yes, did I not make it right? Can we go get to another? Vin vinegar, oh. bring the vinegar out. The vinegar? What is more than yeah. that? Tony, you're so special. Thank you. Mm. No, it's too sweet, too sweet. Oh, I did it for you, my good wife. You will not send me back. No, of course please, not. Please never send me back to that place. You know, when I went to Vietnam to actually get you, I thought it was pretty good. I, like, they had really tasty food, you know? When you walked up the plane, how is it? Oh! That is angel sound! Angel sound coming from heaven! Wow, you can really assimilate it. That, that's, that's pretty cool, you know? We went to Art Do you want some other things, like kind of pepper, maybe? Uh, no, 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 vinegar, vinegar for tea. I'll, I'll save the cayenne pepper for the, the alcohol. Oh, you're so wonderful, darling. Uh, I just want a glass on the ground. I can't have food, dear. Oh, I, I just missed. I mean, I, I was... Sorry. No, it's no worries. It's my fault. I made a mistake and you dropped it. Uh, honey. Um, it's all right now. Let me give you a foot massage. Uh, oh, this is, you know, seriously, that Tom... He's, he married a Harvard graduate. She's from law school. She's but, very nice. Right. Don't she's bad thing about no, I'm not, I'm not saying bad things at all. He just went the traditional route, you know? I, I imagine that over. Okay, so I did my term paper. I cleaned my dorm. And I did another cup of coffee. 
Okay, um, I'm so tired right now. Right. I'm like fucking, oh my god. This final is gonna be intense. Yeah. And I studied yeah. for it. Good. And I wrote my paper. Okay. And I'm, I have not slept in a week. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, <laughs> miss, I don't know who you are. This is a, this is a church. You just wanted it. I am. Wow. Oh, this is the library. No. You know what? Yeah. Um, do you, you, you don't have two heads. No. You don't have two heads? No. Okay, you don't. I don't. Are you sure? I don't know where. Now, Janice, uh, as the manager of Starbucks, we're obviously very happy to have you. Yeah. Um, but there have been some complaints. What? That, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's crazy. Steve, come on, Steve. <laughs> Steve? That's Steve? what I said, Janice. That's Steve? what I said. Yeah, no, you know me. You know me. You know yeah, me. No, no, no. Steve. You're our best customer. Bar none. Yeah. But I saw the video. And, uh, oh. Steve, that, that was one time. That was one time. Hey, look, look at me. Look at me, yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah. In my eyes. Yeah. Steve, you know me. I, I you know, know you, me. Janice. I know. You're our best customer. You're still going to serve me. Well, that's what I've got to talk to you about. Don't, oh, don't get the sweet. Don't get the sweet. Come on, come on. Come on, Steve. Listen, we've, got Steve. To, we've got to go half half. We've got to go Steve, half half. Don't. No. Uh, it's, no. It's, not, it's out of my hands. And I've washed okay. my hands, quite honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was out of them, but I washed them anyway. I got rid of that. I'm not a part of this. Yeah, this, this is ridiculous, Steve. Come on. No. Come on. No, venti, la venti lattes half cap. That's the deal. That's the deal. Three quarters cap? No. We do that? No. Three quarters? No. Three quarters? No. Three quarters? No. Three quarters? No. Three quarters. No. Three quarters. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Well, no, 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 I didn't say okay to three quarters. I did not yeah, say okay. Said, I caught it. I caught it. Okay. <laughs> Things. Yeah. I, I can hear my no, hearing is so high at best, right now. At best, I've been given instructions for three fifths, and that's it. Hey, how about I do a half calf, two half calves, mix them together, get one. <laughs> what are you drinking in that bottle? Coffee? Oh my gosh, you're only four! Who gave you this? I wasn't going to finish it. Oh my goodness, you weren't going to finish it. No. Look at this. It's too big. I can't finish all of it. <sighs> okay, fine. Thank you. Listen, you're a good son. I know, Mom. I was never as good as you when I was a boy, a girl. <laughs> I was a girl. <laughs> what? I, sometimes people say things that are wrong. It's not normal. I mean, it's, it's not. It's normal. To say stuff that's... Yeah, Not listen, true. listen. Remember how I said I adopted you? Uh-huh. Well, I have to tell you, I was once a man. Mom, you're playing a joke on me again, huh? Hold on. Let me, let me put some whiskey in here for you. <laughs> What's whiskey? Don't worry, you're gonna love it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. I was about done. You're the son I never could have had. Okay, Mom. But through adoption, you're now my son. Ah, Florida lifestyle. Florida lifestyle. Oh, I know, it's wonderful, isn't it, darling? <laughs> We'd like to provide you with any service you want. This is the Florida lifestyle, after all. <laughs> Listen, can you get me some of those poodle girls? Right away. Uh, Yes. You have them here, right? I've got to say that. Listen, right, right? listen, listen. Well, we don't I specialize in Hawaii lifestyle, but I will find you some. I have been meaning to, because I've heard about it in the newspapers. I want some prescription medication. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have heard yeah. about your pill mills all over the place, and I just, please, can I try one? Now you're talking the Florida lifestyle. <laughs> Honey, can we afford that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, of course. No, seriously, if you only have some uh, some word or note from an MRI doctor, from an orthopedist, I don't really care who it is. If there's a note, I, I'll get you some pills. I, I have uh, a post-it note. Listen, uh, That'd be fun. Can you sign it so uh, it's not legible? Fantastic. I'll fill in the amount. Oh, thank you. You are a doll. This is fantastic. Know, oh, my goodness. You always are right, honey. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Illegal Cuban immigrants? Illegal. 
Well, it's the fun of being here. We do. Oh, it's the child. Oh, I love it. Glosses. Oh, Janet Reno, don't get me. I love that. I love that. Oh, he's so adorable. We actually just happened to have an illegal immigrant wash up this morning. Oh, What's his name? Oh. Well, we don't know his name because we don't speak Cuban. Wonderful. We can name him, darling. Oh, we can name him. Oh, okay. How about Jim 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 This is your mother and father. We're going to adopt you. Yes. Oh, I'm Mommy! I'm going to dress up like a sailor like this. Mommy, oh, Mommy! Yes. Oh, it's a dad. It's a dad. Mommy! Yes. Dad's up there. Well, I'll leave you with Jim Jab. Dad. And I'll go get those pills. You like the cute and son that your mother still doesn't know about that I had. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll be back. Jim Jab. You think we can get him to clean the pool? Oh, I think that's busted. <laughs> See, he knows already. He's learning. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let's go tell Janet Reno that we have him. Oh, that would really stick in her bra. <laughs> that would be fantastic. And then we can go and hide him in the closet. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hide him in the closet. Make sure it's not the good closet. Somebody order some prescription medication. <laughs> oh, 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 my. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Oxycontin, right, dear? Oh, uh, yes, it's right up here. Oh, good, good. Jim Jab, you first. <laughs> there you go. Thank good you. Job. If you'll just sign the manifest, oh, yes. anything will do. Uh, I will put Jim Jab. Perfect, perfect. Thanks. You have your own bottle. Don't try and take mine. Oh, no. This is so much. Can I give Jim Jab drugs? Yeah, don't be my bag. I just did. I just did. Oh, it's um, Florida. Thank you, Pickles. Uh, I personally uh, love pickles. My grandmother, who uh, is from Liverpool, England, uh, would uh, cut up pickles and, and serve uh, this cucumber and pickle salad that she put in between just buttered bread. And it was the most amazing thing, uh, maybe next to potato crisp sandwiches. Anyone ever heard of those potato crisp sandwiches? Anyone from Canada, maybe? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> potato crisp sandwiches, once again buttered bread, which is the primary foundation of all English uh, meals, and then in between any number of crisps, which is what they call potato chips there in England, and uh, they have prawn, which is shrimp, for those of you who have to be told like myself, I don't have to what's prawn, but, uh, but nonetheless, that's what, I, that's what I think of when I think of pickles, and I do love pickles! pickles. So I used to live in Singapore, and in Singapore it is utterly impossible to find pickles. You can find pickles in exactly one store. It's a French store called Carrefour. That's the only place on the entire island of Singapore where you can find pickles. You can find, however, pickled cabbage, and pickled, pickled lettuce, pickled beets, pickled carrots, pickled uh, peppers, and uh, pickled eggs. So you can find anything in the world pickled except for cucumbers. You can't find them with cucumber and this is for the French. And I don't like going to the French for things. I like good old fashioned, homegrown, just understandably English, global, Asian even, like stuff. I don't want to go get the French pickles because they're frankly just not as good. And so, um, please forgive me if, if that's my experience with pickles. Pickles! Oh, you know, you got one of them pickled sandwiches here. Uh, yes, we do. Right. But we don't serve criminals there. I'm sorry, you have to leave. I'm not... Are you teaching me something? I'm sure nothing else. Australian. We're having a problem here. Yes, we're having an Australian in a restaurant. Oh, an Aussie. <laughs> we don't serve we, Aussies. We don't serve criminals. Go okay, back. We don't serve criminals. Go back to Connie. Look, 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 mate. I don't know what you, you think about Australians. But there, we had to be a prison in over 500 years, okay? Oh, the entire, in the entire continent, in the entire country. The entire island's a prison. We sent yeah. you there. You're prisoners. It's, two, the... it's 2011. We're not all prisoners. I come kangaroos and alligators, okay? Yeah. I usually eat that. I want to come here for a nice pickle sandwich, and you'll treat me like I'm a criminal. Because you are one. You are. 
This is why I never come back here. You understand that? I was born here and I moved to Australia because you... Because you committed a crime. <laughs> you were imprisoned. You were... Oh my goodness! Yeah, in Australia. I know you shouldn't come in a store. They do this every time. No matter who you are. Oh no, 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 no. We hold it only for the Australians. Only with a sign. That is so country Australians, you. Australians leave, you are criminals. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I heard you've got great people sandwiches here, right? Oh, we do. We'd love to give you one, but we don't want you to revolt against us. No, thank you. <laughs> no, we don't want you to get upset and go, oh, we're going to take over something. Oh, your sandwich is repressing me. I don't want to pay tax on it. Oh. Let me dump it in the river. Oh, here's your colored money and everything. Just, like, give me a sandwich. Um, he'll infiltrate. Oh. Very nice. That's be great. Infiltrate? What's that? Oh, yeah. I then just want a sandwich. Excuse me, I am looking for the pickle sandwich. Do you have such a thing here? Oh yes. Oh yeah, pickle we, sandwich. We do. Oh yes. But your armpits are so hairy and stinky that I cannot stand it. Not one minute. <laughs> this is an outrage. I will not be insulted in a place such as this. I can go to my home country and get little pickles. I was trying to be nice to you people. Go back to your home country where you don't have to work in August. <laughs> you don't work. You are. This is why no one respects you anymore. That is why. Look at those crazy English people, right? They are terrible. Like, seriously. I mean, man, I just tried to backpack around, around Europe, and now here I am in France, and it's August, and, and I could just really go for a bottle of wine. Bottle of wine? You yeah. know. I don't think so, Sal. So. What? You sound like you're from uh, the uh, America, I believe? Yeah, I'm from America. I just, like, oh, serious, I'm in France. I want to. It's summertime. It's hot here. It's, I'm thirsty. You're used to $5 wine. That's uh, the invitation of our good wine. If you had our true wine, it would destroy your taste buds. You <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Escargot is like from her homeland. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's not it really this. hot because she's French, but it's gross. The food she packs. I know. She's seriously eating snails. I know, but they're so good. It has a little pet thai on the side. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. There you go. To eat it with this little fork. See, she put it in my bag. In my dude. In my Iron dare Man you. lunchbox. I would dare you to eat one of those if you weren't eating it already. I am eating them. <laughs> See, they have lot. They have garlic, olive oil sauce. Can't yeah, have one. Oh my god, no. Oh, it's snails. Oh, that's gross. Snails are cool. Well, you dare me to do it. I dare you to eat it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just ate a snail. I know, isn't it cool? Dude, oh, that's so cool. I know. Oh my god. I love it. It's kind of good. But it's it gross. Oh my god. But what are you eating? That uh, was, is, that, is that a ham sandwich? Yeah, it's peanut butter and ham. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. How can you eat that? Like, this snail is, is fine. It's a fine French dish. Um, why don't you dare me to eat another one? Because it's so gross. It's so gross. It's so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I, only, I only have six of them. Yeah, you should dare me to eat one. I, I only have two more. I need nutrition to stay alive. Yeah, but so gross. You don't want to eat those. Okay, fine. Nasty. Okay, fine. Nasty. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. I dare you to eat this. I totally can do it. Oh, it's gonna no. be so gross. It's gonna be the gross thing ever. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> now, honey, what's this I hear about being dared into eating communist food? Oh, <laughs> I was dared to eat snails. We don't eat food like that here. We do what's right. This is my house, and as long as you're living under it, you'll eat what I eat. Ham and peanut butter daily. Well, wait, dare me. Dare me to eat it? Yeah, I'll do it. Sure, sure. I'll play along. Yeah. I'll dare you to eat your ham and peanut butter every day for as long as you're in my house. <laughs> dare. On. Done. I have to do it because you dared me. Yeah, I know. That's the rule. Oh, yeah. Your turn, your turn. Uh, I dare you to, to 
Take back your dare. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, seriously. Like, she dared me to sleep with her. I, I'm sorry. It's just, uh, like, when, when, when somebody dares you, you gotta do it. Oh, I know she's your daughter, okay? No, no. <laughs> yes, that's right. She is my daughter. And there's a line you don't cross. And that's the dare line of sex. Of course you cross that line! No, you don't. Not in this house. Not in this house. Not as long as she lives in this house. Honey, I'm sorry, but she dared me to sleep with that guy. I can't believe this. Sit down. Wait, I just got the chair. Sit down. I have to do everything around. Yeah, that's right, you have to do everything around here. That's right. You looked at my best friend's boobs. You have to do everything around here. Do you know how embarrassed I was at that party? You looked at her boobs and she saw it. What were they doing out? <laughs> that's so like a man. Oh my god. She was wearing a dress and it happened to be really cute and I helped pick it out. No, I mean, Sorry. literally, what were they doing out? You don't want me to look at the girl's boobs, have them put away, that's all I'm saying. Start folding my laundry. <sighs> oh, hi, I just came to this party and I was just hoping that uh, I could uh, <laughs> talk to the guys here, you know, try to meet some new people. Oops, I dropped my fork. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Don't fucking do this, don't fucking do this in public! Don't fucking do this in public! Oh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't wear a bra today. <laughs> it's really hot in here. <laughs> I spilled a bunch of myself. Oh my. Oh, I'll get you a napkin. Okay. Go, go and get her a napkin. <laughs> can, you, can you get different friends? Get yeah. a fucking napkin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Third Thought News. I'm John Rivers. I am Soda Springs. Good evening, Soda. How are you, John? Fantastic. Our top story tonight, a revolt out on the street. A candy store, been there for 25 years, all of a sudden, people picketing to stop the construction that will go through that candy store. And man, are there a lot of angry little faces. Oh. Those children have never, never seen a revolt like this. No, no, no. Never have I either. Really? Live at the action, we've got our best reporter, Jim Singleton. Jim, what's going on out there? Oh, well, it's complete anarchy. I've never seen this many people. I mean, they're not even people, they're kids. They're just marching around with their little signs that I think they made themselves because they're really poorly drawn. I can't even read some of them. Oh, it's illegible. Candy is spelled with an I there. Okay. Um, candy, what? We want candy! What do we want now? Very loud. Candy! I'll try to get an interview with one of them. Now. Excuse me, kids. So why are we Are they? We want candy! We want it now! Okay, but uh, like, um, wh who's candy specifically? We want our favorite candy from our favorite candy store that got uh, torn down by the evil city and the corporate. Okay. okay. Corporate America <laughs> steal our candy. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. They said they're only gonna make us get candy from Starbucks. That's uh, right. Did you hear that, Soda? Starbucks. We we did, Jim. We did. And as a matter of fact, that sounds like a whole bunch of new Democratic voters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Insane. In order for it to work out, they've got to get a group message. They're just lacking it right now. The, the children? Oh, yeah. You're, you're saying the children need PR? If they got together and put something on, yeah. Wow, I didn't know this was an opinion show. I thought it was a news show. Well, pardon me. Uh, you, I take interest time, in your world. Uh, thank you for that report, Jim. It's no problem. Moving on, moving on. Next story is about the uh, rash of children. Who, it's children again. Rash of children who are actually drinking coffee and whiskey. It's the latest drink at the preschools. And we have our, our top preschool reporter, Jane Sheffield. Jane. Hi. Uh, uh, yes, hi. 
how are things with the drunk children? Uh, you, you know what? Frankly, it's really fucking cute. Really? They are so cute. Oh my goodness. I had no idea that children were so cute when they were grown. Out of the throne block, sound the slide. <laughs> Is that not the most precious thing you have ever seen or heard? That is horrible. Are, are, are there any dangers, actually, with the, this new drunken child fetish? Yeah, they just threw it from my shoes. Oh. These are, these are Louboutins. I heard that they're going through Captain Cappuccinos like nobody's business. Uh, yes, that is true. That is true, they are. Reminds me of Bill Cosby's Kids Say the Darndest Things. <laughs> yeah. This time when they're drunk. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, Thank you so much, Joe. And lastly, folks, we have a bit of a tearjerker. Uh, tonight, we've got to say goodbye to our, our best roving reporter, Henry Ahrens. And uh, he's saying goodnight tonight from, well, from his favorite place, Pickle Plus, who's going out of business coincidentally. Yeah, no. Oh, Aaron. No. Henry. Yes. Who's saying my name? It, it's us. It's us. We're, we're signing off tonight at your last night. We're very excited for you. Where is the news from my head again? The voices? Ah, no, 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 no. You're, you're at Pickle Plus, your favorite, your favorite no. interview. Yes. I dated my wife here. We went on the tour 50 times one night. Oh, yes. You told us many times over the years. We're so glad to be done with it. But so you, you have a long and storied history, actually. You you uh, served in Vietnam. Yes. Indeed. Yes. They didn't have any pickles over there, except for this one store where people were very rude and they smelled. Really? You toured around Europe with a backpack? Yes. How did that go? Well, it turns out I found another uh, thing in England where people were very rude also. Indeed. I don't know if they even sold any pickles to anyone. They had an excuse for everything. <laughs> With all those memories, it, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's tragic to see you go. Well, you know, me and my wife feel it's time. She says, you know, sometimes you gotta have a pickle while it's still cucumber in. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I always trust my wife. I'm not sure either, but, uh, well, I think that's a wrap for us. From everybody here at the Third Thought News, good night and have a better tomorrow.